You're falling behind. Enemy captured zone A. You neutralize zone B. What's up, ladies and gents? This is Casey Kid coming at you with another Destiny video. Today we're finally doing it. We're taking a look at the Vex Mythoclass. We've been teasing it since last week whenever we did our Necrochasm video, but it's time for the Vex to get its spotlight. Here it is looking absolutely amazing. Now Vex is one of the few things in Destiny ever that has truly, truly been overpowered and deserving of a nerf. It deserved its initial nerf. So basically Vex is a fusion rifle, but it fires like an auto rifle. So hold down the trigger, spray, pray, and play. I tried, I tried to use linear compensator. It just didn't work. I had to go back to smart drift control. Smart drift control plus send moment that is pretty much your only chances at stability on this gun, and it's not enough, but we'll get to that in a little bit. I went with Extended Magazine. Send It looks nice for the range, but your magazine drops all the way down to 21, and I just, I could not find that to be worthwhile at all. So I went with 28 in the magazine, and then of course, Crowd Control just sits there, and the rest of the nodes are damage nodes. So I'm playing around with Vex Mythoclass. It is 177 light, but in normal Crucible, that doesn't matter. In about two weeks, there are going to be some other players that are actually playing with 400 versions of the Vex Mythoclass. So let's talk about what we could see or what we could expect from this gun. Is it going to be overpowered and run rampant in the Crucible? Well, not that I don't want you to stick around until the end of the video, but I can answer that right now. No. It is not going to be overpowered. It is not going to run rampant in the Crucible at all. Don't worry, we still got more to talk about with the Vex though, so you don't have to leave just yet. <laughs> but I imagine anybody that has been paying attention in Destiny or has used the Vex Mythoclass at all recently probably already knew that answer. So I wasn't really spoiling anything or telling you something that you didn't already know. Vex Mythoclass, it was an absolute beast and an absolute monster. It is not anymore. Vex received a massive, massive nerf right whenever they were first trying to balance it after it was just the best weapon that pretty much Destiny has ever seen. And it went too far. And then Bungie went to rectify that and they increased its damage and they tried to help it out a little bit. And I feel like there, it was probably in its best and safest state in the game. But unfortunately, Vex Mythoclass is a fusion rifle. And I don't know if you've ever visited any Destiny forums, but there's a running joke. So you're saying nerf fusion rifles? And that's because for some reason or another, Bungie has just constantly nerfed fusion rifles. And because of that, Vex Mythoclass has suffered. And Vex has suffered absolutely massively, way more than any other fusion rifle in the game, just because of the way that it handles and fires. Okay, for instance, let's talk about the stability. We talked about stability in the very beginning, how I was trying to use Linear Compensator because I believe Linear Compensator basically has a recoil pattern of pretty much vertical. I thought, well, that would be really nice except for the fact that I'm bouncing all over the place with that stability. And stability is one of the things that Bungie has messed around with a lot on fusion rifles. And I mean a lot. So the Vex Mythoclass needs every ounce of stability you can get. And even with that, you better hope the enemy is relatively close to you. At a range, forget about it. You're not going to hit absolutely anything. Right here, this is maybe the best type of range you could hope for. And that guy was lagging a little bit. <laughs> You're not going to see the best kill right there because that guy was definitely lagging. He might be playing some Destiny 2 right now. Who knows? But Vex needs more stability. But on top of that, another thing is you can see whenever I fire off the bolts that the bolts come from all over the place. So from what I gather from people, it seems like basically the Vex Mythoclass ends up firing off its bolts just like a normal fusion rifle does how the bolt pattern is pretty much random. And you don't want that, you don't want that, you don't need that. That is not a good thing. It means that the bolts aren't coming from the same place and they're basically giving you an RNG spread as you're firing off the gun. That is not gonna help matters at all. That's not gonna help you kill things and that is definitely not gonna help you kill things at a range. So at a range with the Vex Mythoclass, forget about it. And also one other reason why firing at a range is bad Vex Mythoclass fires off a projectile, so you're going to see your shots out there, and it's going to look like you're aiming and hitting an enemy, and you're not going to be getting damage numbers, and that's because you're firing off a projectile. Everybody knows the difference between hit skin and projectiles by now. Projectiles are bad, in comparison. 
Okay, so we talked about stability. We talked about the firing pattern. We talked about this being a projectile. Let's also finally talk about the ammo and the ammo capacity. Like I said in the beginning, I ended up rocking out extended magazine because Vex Mythoclast does not hold that many fusion rifle bolts. So please try to rock out some fusion rifle ammo on your armor. That can only help out. Your magazine reserve is quite low. In fact, whenever I was early going on this gun, I definitely felt like I could at some times run completely out of primary ammo in PvP. Now you can get primary ammo from enemies dying, but still, it's a bad feeling to not have a primary weapon at all in the game, especially with the way the game is right now. Vex Mythoclass is a far cry from its 56 I believe that it used to have in its magazine. No more, and you are definitely going to need those shots because you are definitely going to miss a ton of shots. So. Whenever I was doing all these clips, I was thinking all of these things to myself, and I was saying, man, they've got to buff the Vex. They have to give it a buff. It is just, it's not the worst gun in the entire game, but it's going to take some patience to use. In high-end gameplay, no way. You could not use this in Trials of Osiris. It is just not going to happen. I mean, as I'm saying that now, some god-tier PvP player is going to be like, yo, I use this. I went flawless every single week forever, you noob. I, I get that. But I'm talking about the main people, just the average audience. You're not going to be using this gun there. It is just not feasible. You could use it in fun. In sixes, you're going to have a much better time of it than in any 3v3 playlist. That is simply not going to happen. But it's not getting a buff. I really thought it was going to get a buff. At least what would be nice would be to kind of take away the fusion rifle firing pattern that it has. To help that out a little bit. Maybe give it a little bit more stability as well intrinsically or fix up its damage maybe a little bit, maybe give it more headshot damage, that would be nice. Because every once in a while, whenever you're in close, you can get some really nice, fast headshot kills whenever you're in close. But so can auto rifles, and this is where I think we're going to have a problem. So whenever we get in close, obviously at a range, forget it. You're not going to compete with pulse rifles, and you're definitely not going to compete with scout rifles, or sniper rifles, or whatnot, from far across the map. It's simply not going to happen. So your range is close to medium range with the Vex class. Right now, at least for the next two days, sidearms still are going to wreck you. For instance, think about it. A sidearm could hit 60 critical hit damage. You're not hitting that. You're hitting like 39 whenever you're in close, hitting a critical hit to the head. 39 versus 60, you're going to get melted by the sidearms. So that's a problem. Now whenever Tuesday comes, I imagine sidearms are going to go away quite a bit. They might never be seen again, quite honestly, because the magazine nerf that they're going to receive is just going to make them unplayable. But if you're not worrying about sidearms, what about auto rifles? Because auto rifles now are getting buffed. They're getting buffed to their damage fall off, and auto rifles and the Vex class, they basically do the same thing. You need to have that continuous fire damage going off at the enemy. And what I think is going to happen is auto rifles, they're basically at least the ones that you end up rolling, they're going to have better stability. So you can fight the Vex class from a little bit further away, not suffer the damage fall off, get a whole bunch of critical hit headshots, and then take down the Vex class. I have a feeling that Bungie thought that the Vex class was going to get indirectly buffed by the way that they were nerfing some of the other things, but I don't think that's going to be the case at all. Hand cannons are still going to have absolutely no fear of the Vex class. The 3 meter range nerf really isn't going to matter for hand cannons. They're going to be in, they're going to be getting their 3 shots, 1 critical hit, down, you're dead. You're never going to be firing at a range with the Vex. Now, you might not believe me on that. Again, I'm just a normal, standard PvP player. I'm not a PvP god. So you're like, why do I need to listen to this noob? I'm telling you, just go ahead and pick up the gun, put it on, and try it out, and see what you think about it. So, whenever the Vex ends up dropping, what do I think? Which gun? The Vex or the Necrochasm? Do I think might have a bigger impact. Honestly, I think the Necrochasm might overall be in a slightly better spot than the Vexes. So that is really a surprise because when the Necrochasm came out, it was just absolutely terrible. One of the worst guns we've ever seen in Destiny. But with some of its perk changes, the new changes to auto rifles, the change to the Cursed Thrall explosions, I think the Necrochasm will be seen. Will the Vex be seen? Well, let's put it this way. Whenever you get a Vex class, whenever I go ahead and run the challenge for the Vault of Glass, if I get the Vex, you can bet your butt that I'm going to take it into the Crucible, because everybody's going to be looking for that. But other than that, I don't know. I really and truly believe that the Vex absolutely still needs a buff. 
It's one of the best and most iconic weapons in Destiny, and it's kind of a shame for it to be in the state that it is right now. Please, buff the Vex Mythoclass. Anyway guys and gals, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, smack that like button and subscribe to the channel. Check out these awesome videos, good luck with your raids, your drops, your Vex, and I'll see you around in Destiny. Hashtag, make Vexy sexy.